so everybody knows Bob Iger by now. He's the CEO of Walt Disney. So recently, when he was meeting with some investors, he told them that the company is going to be, and I quote, looking to quiet the noise. With all of the conservative pushback that Bob has been getting, he's probably been feeling a bit of the heat left, right, up, down, whatever direction you want to think of. And in all honesty, when you're running a business and when it comes down to your investors, it does not matter where it is that you line up socially. If they now start to see that you have a potential of costing them money, they want answers. During the investors presentation, he did make the announcement that they're going to be looking to double the investment in theme parks and cruise ships, their money makers that people actually enjoy. This could be due to the fact that the streaming business that they had launched, Disney Plus, is not hitting the way that they had foresaw. It could also be due to the fact that they keep on recycling the same old movies over and over and over again, where it doesn't seem like they've had an original idea for a long time now. Why um, are you staying? And so they would need to improve the quality of the films and actually bring on writers and directors that have a vision. And I don't know, maybe take a chance on them. And consider the fact that Disney does own ESPN, which was just responsible not that long ago for firing a number of their sports analysts. Not to mention that Disney has been having a bit of a sparring match with Ron DeSantis for some time now. But I don't know, with this election coming up, will that kind of cool Ron off? Because he has other stuff to focus on? But Bob Iger did say that over the next 10 years, they plan on spending about $17 billion in investment at Walt Disney. Why? Because parks are reliable. They're consistent. They're consistent money makers for the company, and consistent money makers for the company is a good thing. Culturally, some of their movies are not doing all that well. Disney's been getting a lot of pushback, especially given the fact that I think they've just about exhausted the concept of the live action reboot. Although financially, some of their movies are still technically turning a profit, like take into consideration the latest movie, The Little Mermaid. Not Snow White, that movie's just an abomination, I don't even want to address that. But The Little Mermaid, as much pushback as there was when this movie was even announced and then the cast was then chosen, there was a lot of negative feedback before anyone had even seen anything. And still, it managed to turn out $570 million worldwide. That put that movie in direct competition with some of the biggest hits of the entire year. So now, with all of that said, let's double back for a second to Bob Iger's original statement, which was that we're gonna seek to quiet the noise. Apparently, this statement that he made was as a response of an investor who made this claim that they're becoming too concerned with social issues. Now, if your investor is pointing that out to you, and they've let you go for this long, this should show that you might have just crossed the line that they're becoming irritated or even fed up with. Bob Iger, it seems, was also responsible for stating, our primary mission needs to be to entertain. I couldn't agree with that statement any more than I want to. Now. This is going to put a smile on some people's faces, although I think a lot of people have checked out with Disney about now. But according to Reuters, he then said, I'm very serious about that. It should not be agenda driven, which means he knows that everything he's been doing so far has been agenda driven. Now, what I find funny about this statement is this meeting happened around the exact same time that he's now talking directly about retirement once again. Yeah, those headlines are hitting the news again. Why? Um... Are you staying? Well, let me start with the fact that I, I did like retirement. Uh, I highly recommend it, by the way. So here's my question. I know there's a lot of people that have been checked out with Disney already. Some fans that have no intention of ever returning. But with this statement and with the investors now putting in their own statements and allegedly their own concerns, do you think this could have a positive effect on Disney and how they handle their movies? Maybe even their shows, how they handle certain characters as well. Or do you think that Disney's just going to continue to be agenda driven? They're just going to find a different and smarter way to do it. Personally, I have to admit, I haven't seen Ahsoka. I haven't seen The Little Mermaid. I'm not going to be watching Snow White. And from some of their properties that they have upcoming, I gotta level with y'all. I just haven't been interested in a while. I'm not saying I'm completely done. I just don't see anything that's catching my attention like that. So no, I haven't walked off the field just yet. You can call this me just taking a break on the bench. So what do you guys think? Is this good news for you? Is this bad news? Are you a lifelong die-hard ride or die fan of Disney that no matter what it is that they do, you are there with them? Or are you just tired of waiting for them to straighten up, treat legacy characters with some respect, and maybe, just maybe, come up with some brand new ideas instead of just live action rebooting everything? So let me know what it is that you guys think. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. 
Leave your comments in the comment section about how you feel about this announcement. Let me know especially if this would have put a bigger smile on your face if it was Kathleen Kennedy making this statement. And I will see you guys again for the next one. Be easy, y'all. Why um, are you staying?